In today's video, we're going to be looking at the very affordable, compact, and effective Ruger EC9S for everyday carry. Stick around. Just as a disclaimer, this is only a review of the firearm and not an attempt to sell. There's a lot of handguns out there that I'm a big fan of, but a lot of them are just too big to carry around with me every day. At the same time, I don't want to carry around something that's too puny. My next purchase is going to be a Glock 43X, but I felt like it was time to showcase the pistol that I've been carrying around now for a few years. This is the Ruger EC9S. This is model 3283. Uh, this has been on the market now for a few years, and you can get this in a lot of different colors. You can get Coyote Brown. There's just a lot of different designs, but I like going with the all black myself. This has a magazine capacity of seven plus one. We have a hardened alloy steel slide here with a three and a 12th inch barrel. For our grip frame, you have a high performance glass field nylon. You have a black oxide slide and barrel finish with integral sights. It's 0.90 inches thick and weighing in at 17.4 ounces. The overall length is six inches and it's four and a half inches tall. I wanna let you get a look at the trigger here the release and the safety. So the chamber's empty here and I don't have the magazine in, but I wanna show you how this fits in the hand. I have a medium to large hand size. Sometimes I need a large glove, sometimes I need a medium, it just depends. But this is how the gun fits in my hand. This is what it looks like now. You can imagine what it would be if you have XL hands or double XL hands, but if you have a medium to large, I think it's almost the perfect fit. As you can tell, my, my trigger, it's right there where I should be and the meat of the, the finger here just rests right on there perfectly. So this is a good, a good size compact gun for a large to medium hand, but I wanted you to see how this fits. Um, this may be too small for some people. Uh, it's perfect for me. If you have a big giant hand, you may consider this to be a little bit too small because your finger's probably just gonna wrap around the, the trigger completely, but uh, medium to large hands, I think it's perfect. It's got a pretty easy uh, rack slide. Um, you know, if you're a female looking to get something and you and you want to be able to rack the slide, you may or may not find this difficult. I know that Ruger makes like an LCP 380. That slide is like butter. I mean, it's just, it's almost like too light for me, but um, this is not going to be too heavy for a lot of women. It may be a little bit of a heavy rack for some. Now, I want to also show you this. The chamber is empty. I'm going to put the magazine in here. Uh, for me, it's just, it's just perfect how it rest in my hand. That just feels really good. That's almost like a perfect fit for me with the magazine in there. You want to be able to get a nice grip on your weapon. Something else I can tell you about this pistol is it's easy to break down and clean. I just want to, you know, show you this here that the mechanics of this are very easy to take apart. It's easy to break down and clean. I went out a couple of years ago and bought a little 22 uh, from Phoenix Arms. They're a company here in America. I just wanted to give it a try. Um, after reviewing it and taking a look at it, I so ended up selling it, getting rid of it because it was just too hard to break down and clean. And that was my, uh, my biggest complaint about that Phoenix Arms 22. This is easy to break down and clean. Now let's talk price because this pistol is rated among those that are very good for the price. You can get a Ruger EC9S for about 300 bucks if you shop around. It's about 339 on their site, but back when I got mine, I only paid about 250 bucks for this pistol. Now I carry my Ruger in a sticky holster. I carry an appendix right here in the front and it's just, it's comfortable. It's not too much, it's not too little. And I think that's what sold me on this altogether. I'm not gonna get crazy in the video, but I will take a couple of shots for you. This is obviously not the first time I've, I've shot this pistol. I've taken it to the range and I personally like the way it handles. All right, let's take out this little pot here. I know it's no long ways out or anything to brag about, but I did hit it dead center and it came out the back here. So <laughs> fun stuff. I did that kind of shot because I don't think the Ruger EC9S is gonna necessarily be your favorite range gun, but for everyday defensive carry, I believe it gets the job done. With it being lighter and more compact, it's definitely got some kick as you could tell. So you have to train to manage that recoil as much as possible. But I did hit my target at about 15 to 20 feet away, which is pretty common for defensive scenarios. So it's doable. If you're looking for something that's not too big or too small for everyday carry, I believe the Ruger EC9S will take care of you. 
Have a great day.